This is just a quick demonstration of how you can uh, make rust happen, like right now. This is basically just an acid solution. Fumes are probably very bad for you. It's uh, sulfuric acid. No, I'm sorry, it's muriatic acid. And I'm just going to use this to prep the metal. Actually, an acid solution this strong, I think it's like 25%, will actually not make the metal rust, but will actually clean it, as you can see, the tarnish that's coming off on this Q-tip. That's just going to prep it for what I'm going to do next. It'll make um, the hydrogen peroxide that we put on there that much more effective. Um, rust up to a certain point will happen in a in an acidic environment but if it's too acidic it won't so there is a fine line there but at this point we we'll just put a little uh, hydrogen peroxide on it and that begins the rusting process and the more you apply and you can even mask it off with tape and cut out patterns and stuff the more you apply the thicker it'll get and actually Actually, if you heat it up at this point, and I wouldn't recommend doing this to a uh, to a tank like this, because it'll probably build up pressures, and it's not good for it. But I don't use this tank for anything. The warmer it is, the faster the reaction will occur. It just explode. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't build up a lot of pressure. Once this is warm, and again, don't torch the metal you're trying to, but you can see but the heat will actually speed the process up. A little bit of heat, not like mad heat like that. And the, the more you apply to it, the darker it'll get. And then you can just do whatever you want at that point. Spell out names or, or whatever. But that's uh that's a quick rudimentary rust. You want it to be more flaky, you could try an acidic solution with water. Um, I don't know if a vinegar would work that well, but maybe like a one part acid to like 25 part water or something like that, from what I read anyway. But that's basically it.